What's up everyone, Corey here from A&A Hobbies and if you guys follow my channel already then you'll know that I am planning to do a Tatooine mock coming here in the year 2021 and today is New Year's Eve, the last day of 2020. Happy New Year's to everybody out there. So I'm going to take all my existing Tatooine sets that I have in my collection and I'm going to be adding on to them and doing a bit of a mock around everything and it is my first ever mock and because of that I am going to need some other buildings and stuff that go along with Mos Eisley and that type of theme. So I've mocked up this building here that you see in front of you and I thought today I would show you guys what I came up with. I would love some feedback from you and uh, let me know what your thoughts are, things you like, things you don't like, things you think I could change. Uh, it is my very first real mock um, of this scale. It's not huge, but it's a start. So what I'm going for here is another type of Tatooine building that I can put kind of around Mos Eisley to make more of the spaceport um, rather than just having the cantina on its own. So I'm just kind of going for that theme. Uh, starting around the front, I got a nice big arched doorway here that I was able to put in. We got a little printed tile piece there for a control pad. Didn't really get a door in there, but that's not a big deal. Uh, a couple little accent pieces there to break up the monotony of the tan color. Got this little clip piece with some kind of a torch or stick on the outside. Swinging around here to the side, I incorporated these cylindrical pieces there to give it a little bit more detail. I basically mimicked one of the designs off of the Mos Eisley Cantina for the water recoverer. Coming around to the back is fairly simple because I will have it against a wall or a flat surface, so I didn't really concentrate too much on putting things back here, but I did put a window in to allow a little bit of light to come through. And the other side, another cylindrical piece here with a window and just a little bit of detail kind of coming around the side. Moving up to the top of my mock here, um, just basically stuck with the Tatooine thing and added a bunch of greebling and a little bit of details to give it some kind of aesthetic so it's not a flat roof. Uh, I really couldn't tell you what all these pieces are, but they do move. We'll call that a, a wind direction finder and this a communications array. Uh, I did get the dome hut that's able to open and close here to allow some more light to come into the interior. And all in all, just kind of filled up the space there to give it a little bit of detail. And I'm happy with the way it turned out. So if you take a little look into the doorway here of this mock, you can see that I do have a bit of an interior in there. And to access that interior, I put it on this hinge, uh, which a lot of sets will have these days. Uh, standing over here on the left, if you can see back in there, we're going to have a little bit of a pot and a cooking station for some food. Here we have our blue milk carton along with an empty glass. We just have a bookshelf with a couple little things on it that I figured that they would need in a hut like this. Moving over to the right, we have a candle up there on the wall for a little bit of light at nighttime and a workstation. Right now we got Luke Skywalker. He is working on his lightsaber and also a practice training droid there uh, that he uses in episode four when he first gets his lightsaber. Swinging around here to the other side, you'll see in that back corner, I do have a printed tile. Not sure what that's from, but I thought it kind of looked control panel-y, so I put that in there. Uh, we do have another one of those cylindrical pieces in the back, but I didn't really put much in there. We got some binoculars hanging on the wall and a clip piece and a nice little box there to store some uh, stuff along the way. We got a hologram projector in the middle of the room taken right from Obi-Wan's hut and Obi-Wan is sitting there talking to Princess Organa or Princess Leia. Uh, we have a shelf in the back that just holds a little bit of things that they may need, some tools and whatnot, some oil cans and a little clip piece holding a what will be a light on the back along with a little table here uh, with some detailing. So that's the interior that I was able to incorporate into this. Again, nothing is permanent. I am able to tweak and modify this as I go. Uh, but for now, it kind of got the point across. And I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of these styles of buildings um, because I do need probably eight or nine of them to surround Mos Eisley. So this is the first one that I was able to come up with. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I know I'm going to be getting better along the way. And again, I would love your guys' feedback in the comments. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't like about it, things you think I should change or add, or techniques that you think I should incorporate. Um, but as far as my very first one goes, I am extremely happy with it. 
And I just thought I'd take you guys into a bit of what I'm doing with this mock. Uh, this is going to be an entire journey coming through 2021. It's going to be very exciting. It is my first kind of bigger scale mock, and I'm very happy to be bringing you guys along with me for it. So that's going to wrap up today's video, you guys. If you liked it, leave it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with my mock starting journey. I want to thank everybody for staying with me through this one. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Happy New Year. See you guys.